You have lower incidence of Parkins, Mark Parkinson's. Wait, the the mice, the, the the dietary thing that you just mentioned. Uh, people the that diet, can, so the people that had diets high in the nicotinoids yeah. had a lower incidence of Parkinson's. Okay. So the more nicotine you take in, it appears to be protective to Parkinson's disease. Hmm. Wow, interesting. And then caffeine as well has some kind of effect. Yeah, so caffeine seems to do a, you know a similar effect now. Caffeine and coffee consumption has been shown to have positive health associations for many different things. So I have no problem encouraging people to drink coffee and tea. We've been doing it for thousands of years. But cigarette smoking, we know, increases the incidence of about 100 other diseases. So the idea of like cigarette smoking being there Mm -hmm. seems something that you can't do. But the idea that, you know, that activating that system, one of my initial sort of very simplistic ideas of this was is like the nicotine 